over there. Let's make another spoon, honey. Da hinten kann der gerne mit dem Schleim, aber müsste dann euch wenn ihr Foto sein wollt. Da steht hier alle Rosen. Kommt von hinten. Da kommt oben rüber. Ich bin hinter dir. Okay. Und das ist auf der Basis von eurem Design. Ah ja, ich mache das. Wenn du all das machst, wenn du bereit bist. Können wir die Musik ausstellen, bitte? Please. Are you ready? Okay, no. Okay. Well, after invent reinventing all this rock and roll culture from the ruins of a past in 1970s, searching for things that were happening in the 50s, I became bored. I thought I was part of some nostalgia movement. And nostalgia is for me dead tissue. I wanted to do something new. I wanted to do something as demonstrative and as powerful, but something new. So I reopened my shop. Originally, it was called Let It Rock, after a Chuck Berry song, or Too Fast to Live, Too Young to Die, the sort of thing that would be on, painted on the back of Hell's Angels jackets, into a shop that I decided to call Sex. In this shop, I had to find a pair of trousers. I had to create a pair of trousers I felt, well, first of all, about sex. And secondly, about something to do with a new generation's angst, trouble, um, repression, uh, sort of a signal to show that the culture wasn't particularly going anywhere. How could I create a pair of trousers that looked as if you couldn't walk in them to symbolize the idea of not being able to go anywhere? Black was the most important color. Black was a denouncement of the frill. And with black trousers, I created a trouser that had a strap crossing the two legs. And with a buckle in front, you could, you could squeeze them, you could pull them tight. And it would appear when you were walking in them, as if you couldn't go anywhere. Your legs were tied together. They later became known as the bondage trouser. It was a trouser in which you were tied up, strangled. This trouser had a kind of sexual connotation. It was fetishistic. And so it worked perfectly under the heading of my new store called Sex. And later on, I found some of the new generation who wanted to actually express that image on stage. And they called them the Sex Pistols. Back. And that's the front. And here you can see the straps, which you, if you spread like that, you can see it's two legs tied together. <laughs> Using details like these to hang little skirts on the back, details that were normally originally used for dog leads. Anything that had a fetishistic connotation was very important. So there became a trouser that was almost anti-fashion disrespectful to the idea of a trouser where you normally think two legs should be able to walk freely. This was two legs permanently tied together. Just, yep. Just talk to me a little bit and okay. the, yeah, yeah. Well, this is known That's as the coffin shoe. Famous Blair story. <laughs> yeah. This Got is me another. helping yeah. the economy of England. Yeah pirating all the American styles of rock and roll and reinventing them all in the yeah. 70s. Today, they're ubiquitous, sold all over the world. We got on? And street fashion. Fashion that had some genuine, and real, authentic relationship with the ruins of rock and roll culture. Okay? Yep. And two more sentences, please. Two more sentences. Yeah. Well... Let's talk this about the blue like suede shoes. Blue suede shoes. Yeah. Well, this particular shoe. The king. With the D-rings. Yeah. 
was a shoe that Elvis Presley wore, except it wasn't in red. It was actually in blue. And hence yeah, the title of one of the most great. famous rock and roll songs of the 50s called Blue Suede Shoes. Next. Okay. I'm going to put these yep. down, right? Yeah, please. Yeah, okay. uh, uh, good. Okay. My early works. <laughs> <laughs> I have a second installment with, with me, but at the moment, hold on. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Right. Great. Love it. Nice. Hold on. I have to wait for my little flash. You know, I missed my studio crew. <laughs> Hold on, one more. And here we go, yep. Yeah. One more. And big eyes. Hold it, please. Change the set. Hold, hold it, yep. Yeah. Great. Watch it, yeah. No, no, that's not so. No, that's not in the lens. Great. Here we go, yeah, great. I like your arms. They look great. Disappearing arms. Great. Look at me, please. Big eyes. And one more. And hold it. And I tell you one. Big eyes, please. Great. And one more. Great. Can you have your arms with this? No, no. So I see your. Your arms disappear. No, just hold them up. Hold them up. But in, in front. So I see the, the sleeves. Here's a... In front, uh, how? Okay. Like Give me this. the action. Like this? Like this. I okay. just like this because I like this. Okay, okay. Right. So I should sit in. Okay. Perfect. Hold it. This is great. It's a hot dog. <laughs> backwards. I'm very sorry. The police is Don't behind you. <laughs> hold it, hold it, hold it. Wait. Okay. Uh, I have to fix this. A little. And here we go. Yep. Wait. Did it flash here? Yeah. Okay. Good. Hold on a sec. And yeah. Stevie Wonder looking into a mirror. <laughs> 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 And uh, Donna Karen and yeah. Tom Wolf. Sure. These two German artists, she from Spiegel and Stern. Right. Alexander McQueen. Yes, I you know. know yes. Sure. It was just when he took over in Paris. Right. One second. Oops. Oh my God. Okay. So. Well, now, same it's, thing? Yeah, but it's black and white, but uh, around, yes, that's perfect, that's great. Okay. Hold it up. Okay. Have to focus first. Okay. 
And here we go, the ice. Hold on, I'm just... Yeah. Wait. You may rest your little fingers on your sleeve. On, on your, how do you say? Uh, My yeah. eye. No, no, the uh, Schläfe. Uh, is. What is this? Uh, this here? The temple? The temple. Yeah. So, yeah. Great. Hold it. Should wait for the back. Yeah. Hold on. One more. I have to wait for the finish. And great. We move once over here, please. Bring the arm a little bit more. Which arm? The right one, please. Perfect. A little bit too much. I correct you. Okay. Here we go. And one more. And hold it. One more. Last one here. Hey, Christina. I have it here. Oh, thank you. Uh, Just look, green. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It belong to the group. Okay, so we might have to. All right, I'll yep. try and squeeze in. Hang on. Hold on, hold on for a sec. That's okay. Great. Did it flash? No. Yep. Hold on. Okay. Hold it.
Hold on, one sec. I have to change magazines. You just watch him. You just don't stand at. Just stand normal, like like a, this is like somebody who's like wanting to go to the shop and you're just watching. Oh, I'm also standing. You know you're him? just interested in your curiosity. Oh, no. just... So then. So. Twelve. No, no, no. Yeah, you just standing there. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, have you ready? I'm ready. Okay, fashion has always, for me, been a thrilling experience. It's always been something about dressing up to mess up. Fashion is a very dangerous idea. It's what it always excited me. And I always associated fashion with music in that regard. For me, Fashion and music came together in art school and served my purpose to describe something new in terms of a struggle to express an idea that you could truthfully run wild in. So creating stores back in the 70s as I did, uh, they were not so much about fashion shops, they were more environments that you could truthfully run wild in. The message was clear, it was very much DIY, do it yourself. And it's code, and it's always remained an enigma to mainstream fashion until today, 30 years later, almost. You have Comme des Garçons, you have Givenchy, you have Dior, all the major names in mainstream fashion adopting some of those principles and language that was anti-fashion into mainstream fashion. So suddenly, punk rock as an attitude has become de rigueur, as they say, on the catwalks of Paris today. Okay. Fashion for me was always a personal search for an identity, an identity that you can have as maybe some kind of warrior in what is a very organized and dull world. I wanted to use fashion like an artist to be provocative, to change life. And that's what I did in the 70s with shops such as Sex that spawned a whole revolution in street style, anti-fashion style, 
and with it became known as punk style, punk rock style. Today, that attitude has probably come back simply because in a world which doesn't have any ideology, in fashion terms, it has very little today that you could turn a point of view. So Comte de Garçon, Dior, Givenchy, all in some ways pay homage to that original attitude and philosophy that was very much one in which was provocative and changed the notion of fashion. Made girls look more like warriors rather than dull, frosty old flowers. the story. Okay. Do you live in Hamburg? No, no, I live in Bournemouth. You live in Bournemouth? Oh, wow. Oh, okie dokie. Alright. I'm not really shaking, I'm just going to hang on. Don't worry. <laughs> we all have. Okay, marvellous. And your name is Anna? Anna. Okay, Anna. Anna. Anna from Bournemouth. Okay. There. Okay, Anna. There you go. <laughs> Cheers. Pleasure. Thank you. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Anyway, so the reason I'm here in Hamburg is because I'm promoting this installation. It's a multimedia installation uh, in Karlsruhe. And on August the 11th it opens and there's a big party there. And my life and times is explained very simply as a self-portrait in the form of a group of fruit machines which you can play my life like a game of chance. And in this installation, which I created like a casino, you can see all the different machines. One machine representing my life and times in fashion, one machine representing my life and times in music, like the Sex Pistols, one machine my own adventures in music, another machine about my origins, philosophy, my childhood and so on. And uh, you can have that. And uh, hopefully come on August the 8th, be a big party on Friday, on that Friday night with DJs from Munich and uh, Karlsruhe apparently. <laughs> and uh, let, we'll hope it's a, it's a real uh, rip. Thank you. Can you look to him once more, please? Just look at him. Okay. You want to take a photo? You want to take a photo? You take a photo now. You want to take a photo stand next to me? Is that the idea? Your friend didn't take it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. You want to take another one, just in case? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Okay, marvellous. Thank you. We will be looking now the card as well. And um, the card, give him the card, please. And yeah. if you explain the card towards her, and we can have a look on over... The installation, My Life and Times. It's a self-portrait. But it's a self-portrait of my life and times. There's a casino in which you play my life like a game of chance. And this is the invitation. And on August the 11th, there's a big party all night in the ZKM in Karlsruhe. So you're welcome to come. Maybe you have it. OK?
And now I have to do sunglasses to go with it. Oh, the yellow Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> 